Russell describes God as a tangible substance, not an abstract concept. All matter and all creating things are the images of thinking mind. Universal thinking is the beginning of all energy. Man's body is but an individual effect of the whole of man, and is the product of his thinking. Light is power for man to use in the perfection of his body. Each point in the universe is the center of the universe. An important aspect to know is Walter Russell's connection with the legendary inventor Nikola Tesla. They used to have meetings to debate their findings and seek each other's advice. In one such meeting, Russell asked Tesla for his opinion on his groundbreaking discoveries. Tesla famously responded with the words, Hide this information for 1,000 years until humanity is ready for it. These exact words highlight the profound and potentially transformative nature of Russell's findings. We will delve into the writings of Walter Russell, focusing on the insights contained in the first book. So. Without further ado, let's dive right into the extraordinary world of Walter Russell's writings. In the beginning, God. There is but one God. There is but one universe. God is the universe. This statement sets the foundation for Russell's vision of the universe. It emphasizes that God and the universe are not separate entities, but one and the same. This means that everything that exists is a manifestation of God. There is no distinction between the creator and the creation. They are intrinsically intertwined. Russell challenges the conventional view that God created the universe as a separate entity. Instead, he asserts that the universe has always been a part of God, continuously evolving and manifesting in different forms. Nothing is which has not always been. All created things are from the beginning. They have no beginning they do not come into being. This perspective shifts our understanding from a static creation event to a dynamic, ongoing process of transformation and evolution. The whole of creation is contained in the desire of universal mind to express idea, form and rhythm in accord with immutable law, in endless sequence through endless ages. Here, Russell delves deeper into the mechanism of creation. The universal mind, which is synonymous with God, has an inherent desire to express itself through ideas, forms, and rhythms. This desire is the driving force behind all creation. The universal mind operates according to immutable laws, ensuring that creation unfolds in an orderly and harmonious manner. This process is eternal, with no beginning or end, continuously manifesting new forms and ideas. Life is the pulsing, electromagnetic oscillation of thinking mind. Life in this view, is not confined to organic beings, but is a universal principle present in all matter. The rhythmic pulsation of the universal mind's thinking generates life and drives the evolution of all forms in the universe. All mind is universal, and all mind has all power. The mind of man is universal mind. Man has all power. This powerful statement underscores the unity and omnipotence of the universal mind. Russell asserts that the individual human mind is an extension of this universal mind. This connection means that humans possess the same creative power as the universal mind. By recognizing that our minds are part of the universal mind, we realize that we have access to infinite potential. Mind is a substance, a material substance. The substance of mind is the foundation of creation. Russell describes mind as a tangible substance, not an abstract concept. This substance is the fundamental building block of all creation, the source from which all forms, energy, and matter arise. The universality of mind means that it exists beyond the limitations of time and space, encompassing all intelligence, power, and presence. The substance of universal mind has no beginning, no ending, and no bounds. It is all intelligent, all powerful, and all present. This infinite nature of mind implies that there are no limits to what can be achieved through the power of thought and consciousness. All matter and all creating things are the images of thinking mind. Thinking mind is light, and light is universal. This statement sets the stage for understanding the fundamental nature of reality, according to Russell. He posits that everything in existence, all matter and all creations, are direct manifestations of the universal mind's thoughts. This mind operates through light, which is a universal medium of creation. Thinking mind is not limited by physical constraints. 
It is an omnipresent force that uses light to express its ideas. Light, in this context, is not merely visible light, but the fundamental substance of all creation. Therefore, the universe and everything within it are reflections of the universal mind's thinking, shaped and formed by its continuous flow of ideas. The dynamic action of universal thinking is the cause of all creation and decreation. Universal thinking is the beginning of all energy. Russell explains that the process of thinking by the universal mind is the driving force behind all creation and decreation. This dynamic action generates the energy required to bring things into existence and dissolve them back into their fundamental state. This cyclical process of creation and decreation ensures the constant renewal and transformation of the universe. The act of thinking initiates movement and energy, making it the source of all physical and metaphysical phenomena. By understanding this, we recognize that energy itself is a byproduct of the universal mind's continuous thought process. Man's power of expressing the idea of himself is only through his own body. Man's body is but an individual effect of the whole of man and is the product of his thinking. This statement highlights the personal aspect of Russell's philosophy. Human beings, as expressions of the universal mind, manifest their ideas through their physical bodies. Our bodies are not separate from our thoughts, but are direct results of them. This means that our physical form and actions are extensions of our mental processes. Our bodies allow us to interact with the physical world, expressing the ideas conceived in our minds. This perspective empowers individuals, suggesting that by understanding and mastering our thoughts, we can directly influence and shape our physical reality. There is but one process of thinking, for there is but one mind. There are not two minds nor two methods of thinking. Russell emphasizes the unity of the thinking process. There is only one universal mind, and its method of thinking is consistent throughout the cosmos. This single process of thinking underlies all of creation, maintaining harmony and order in the universe. The perceived separateness of minds and thoughts is an illusion. In reality, all thinking is a part of the universal mind's continuous activity. This realization can help us understand that we are not isolated thinkers, but integral parts of a larger, interconnected thought process. By aligning our individual thoughts with this universal process, we can achieve greater harmony and purpose in our lives. By understanding that all matter and creation are images of the thinking mind, recognizing the dynamic action of universal thinking as the source of all energy, and realizing that our bodies are expressions of our thoughts, we can grasp the profound interconnectedness of existence. Furthermore, acknowledging that there is but one process of thinking for one universal mind emphasizes the unity and harmony of all creation. This perspective invites us to see ourselves as active participants in the universal process of creation, capable of shaping our reality through the power of thought. Embracing this understanding can transform our perception of existence, highlighting the continuous dynamic interplay between thought, matter, and energy that defines our universe. This universe of motion is a universe of production, destruction, and reproduction. Russell introduces the idea that the universe is fundamentally characterized by these three processes. Production refers to the creation of new forms and structures, destruction to their dissolution, and reproduction to their cyclical renewal and continuation. In this dynamic view, nothing is static. Everything is in a constant state of flux, governed by the interplay of forces that produce, destroy, and reproduce the myriad forms we observe. This principle underscores the perpetual motion and transformation inherent in the universe, ensuring its continuous evolution and vitality. Light is the power which God has used to create the appearance of form. Light is power for man to use in the perfection of his body. Here, Russell emphasizes the fundamental role of light in the creation of forms. Light is not just a physical phenomenon, but a divine tool used to manifest the various forms we see in the universe. For humans, light represents a source of power and potential. By harnessing the energy of light, individuals can enhance and perfect their physical bodies. This suggests that light is a bridge between the spiritual and the physical, 
enabling the transformation and improvement of matter through its inherent power. All effects and dimensions of first cause begin with the birth of each light unit. Russell explains that every manifestation in the universe originates from the birth of light units. These light units are the fundamental building blocks of all forms and structures. They represent the initial expression of the universal mind's creative thought. The reproductive principle ensures that these light units are perpetually generated, leading to the continuous creation and recreation of forms. The cyclical process of birth and renewal maintains the dynamic balance of the universe, allowing for the constant emergence of new effects and dimensions. Walter Russell's exploration of the principles of motion, light, and reproduction reveals a universe characterized by perpetual production, destruction, and reproduction. By understanding that light is the fundamental power used by the divine to create forms, and recognizing the birth of light units as the starting point for all manifestations, we gain insight into the dynamic processes that govern existence. This perspective highlights the continuous interplay of forces that produce, dissolve, and renew forms, ensuring the constant evolution and vitality of the universe. It invites us to see light as a powerful tool for transformation and improvement, both in the universe at large and within ourselves. Embracing this understanding can transform our perception of reality, emphasizing the dynamic, ever-changing nature of existence and our potential to harness the power of light for our own growth and perfection. Walter Russell's insights into energy transmission provide a profound understanding of the nature of the universe and its dynamic processes. In Chapter 11, he asserts, Each point in the universe is the center of the universe. Each point is the beginning and the end of each ten octave swing of the cosmic pendulum. This statement encapsulates the essence of how energy is transmitted and how every point in the universe is interconnected. To fully appreciate this concept, we need to explore the nature of energy transmission, the significance of the ten octave swing, and the concept of the cosmic pendulum. Russell's assertion emphasizes the interconnectedness and centrality of every point in the universe in the transmission of energy. This perspective challenges traditional views of energy as a linear or isolated phenomenon and presents a more holistic and dynamic understanding. Each point in the universe is the center of the universe. This phrase highlights the idea that every point, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, is integral to the structure and functioning of the universe. Each point acts as a focal center where energy converges and diverges, playing a crucial role in the cosmic scheme. This concept implies that the universe is a holographic entity where every part contains the whole and the whole is reflected in every part. Each point is the beginning and the end of each ten octave swing of the cosmic pendulum. Here, Russell introduces the idea of the ten octave swing, which represents the cyclical nature of energy transmission. The cosmic pendulum swings through ten octaves, each representing a different level or state of energy. These swings symbolize the rhythmic oscillation of energy, which begins and ends at every point in the universe. This cyclical process ensures that energy is perpetually in motion, oscillating between different states and levels. The ten octaves represent a complete cycle of energy transformation, from its most concentrated form to its most diffuse state and back again. This rhythmic oscillation is akin to a pendulum swing, which reaches a peak, reverses direction, and returns to its starting point, only to begin the cycle anew. The concept of the cosmic pendulum is central to understanding energy transmission in Russell's framework. The pendulum represents the dynamic and rhythmic nature of the universe, where energy is never static but constantly in motion. This motion is characterized by a balance between opposing forces, such as attraction and repulsion, concentration and diffusion. As the cosmic pendulum swings, it generates waves of energy that propagate throughout the universe. These waves carry information and influence the formation and transformation of matter. Each swing of the pendulum corresponds to a complete cycle of energy transmission, encompassing the entire range of potential states within the ten octaves. 
The idea that each point in the universe is the center of the universe also implies a deep interconnectedness and interdependence of all points in the cosmos. This holographic principle suggests that every point reflects the whole, and changes at any point can influence the entire system. This interconnectedness ensures that energy transmission is not a local or isolated phenomenon, but a universal process that impacts the entirety of existence. Negative, expanding centrifugal force becomes positive, contracting centripetal force, and we hear the sound again. Russell's statement underscores the dynamic interplay of forces that define our universe. He emphasizes that the universe operates within finite boundaries, governed by opposing forces. Russell explains that the universe is characterized by two fundamental forces, the expanding, negative, centrifugal force, and the contracting, positive, centripetal force. These forces are in constant interplay, creating a dynamic balance. The centrifugal force drives expansion and dispersion, pushing things outward, while the centripetal force drives contraction and concentration, pulling things inward. This cyclical interaction ensures the continuous transformation and renewal of matter and energy. When the expanding centrifugal force transitions to the contracting centripetal force, it creates a rhythmic oscillation that can be observed in various natural phenomena, such as sound waves. This rhythmic pattern signifies the universe's finite nature, with boundaries defined by the oscillation between these opposing forces. This is the law of evolving existence. It is as true of complex as it is of simple things. Russell emphasizes that the principles governing the universe apply universally to all levels of existence from the simplest particles to the most complex structures. Russell describes the universe as dimensionless, suggesting that the concepts of space and time are not absolute, but relative constructs. The law of evolving existence states that all forms of matter and energy evolve according to the same fundamental principles, regardless of their complexity. This law ensures that the same processes of transformation, balance, and renewal apply universally. By recognizing that the universe operates on these universal principles, we can understand that complexity arises from the same basic interactions that govern simpler forms. This insight highlights the interconnectedness of all things, where the same rules of motion and balance apply universally, driving the evolution and transformation of the entire cosmos. Opposing desire in sex expression is the cause of opposing motion. A cause cannot evade its effect. Russell explores the role of opposing forces and desires in creating motion and dimension within the universe. Russell identifies that the expression of opposing desires, particularly in the context of sex, is a fundamental cause of motion in the universe. These desires generate opposing forces that drive the dynamics of creation and transformation. The interaction between these opposing forces creates motion, leading to the manifestation of dimensions and forms. The statement, a cause cannot evade its effect, underscores the inevitability of consequences resulting from any cause. In the context of opposing desires, the interaction of these forces produces specific effects that shape the physical reality. This principle of cause and effect is a fundamental law of the universe, ensuring that every action has a corresponding reaction, driving the continuous cycle of creation and transformation. The universe is omniscient. The universe is indissolubly united. Russell begins by emphasizing the intrinsic unity and all-encompassing knowledge of the universe. Russell asserts that the universe is a single, interconnected entity, where every part is intrinsically linked to every other part. This oneness means that the universe functions as a cohesive whole, where the actions and existence of one part influences the entirety. This unified nature ensures that the universe operates in harmony, with every element contributing to the overall balance and order. The omniscience of the universe means that all knowledge exists within it. The universe, as a manifestation of the universal mind, inherently possesses complete understanding and awareness. This omniscience allows the universe to function with perfect order and precision, as every action and reaction are governed by a comprehensive understanding of all that is. God is all there is. Beyond God, there is nothing. 
superior to God, there is nothing. Russell emphasizes the omnipresence of God, or the universal mind, as the fundamental essence of all existence. Russell explains that God, or the universal mind, is present everywhere and in everything. This omnipresence means that there is no aspect of the universe that is separate from God. Everything that exists is a manifestation of the divine, and there is no existence beyond or superior to God. This understanding highlights the sacredness of all creation, as every part of the universe is imbued with the divine presence. The omnipotence of the universe is limited in its expression by the limited power of the universal constant of energy to accumulate potential. Russell delves into the nature of the universe's omnipotence, acknowledging its immense power while recognizing inherent limitations. Russell asserts that the universe possesses unlimited potential power, derived from the universal constant of energy. This omnipotence enables the universe to create, sustain, and transform all forms of existence. However, the expression of this omnipotence is subject to the limitations of energy accumulation. The universe can only manifest its power to the extent that it can accumulate and direct energy effectively. This dynamic balance ensures that the universe operates within the bounds of natural laws, maintaining order and harmony. Within the thinking substance of universal mind is all knowledge. The entire substance of mind is knowledge. Knowledge is universal. Russell emphasizes the all-encompassing knowledge contained within the universal mind. Russell explains that the universal mind is the source of all knowledge. Every thought, idea, and understanding exist within this divine substance. The omniscience of the universal mind means that it inherently possesses complete and perfect knowledge, enabling it to govern the universe with absolute wisdom and precision. This knowledge is not limited or fragmented, but is a unified and coherent whole that permeates every aspect of existence. Walter Russell's exploration of the universal attributes of oneness, omnipresence, omnipotence, and omniscience reveals a profoundly interconnected and harmonious universe. By understanding the indissoluble unity and omniscience of the universe, recognizing the omnipresence of God in all things, Appreciating the balanced omnipotence governed by natural laws, and acknowledging the all-encompassing knowledge of the universal mind, we gain a deeper insight into the fundamental nature of reality. This perspective invites us to see the universe as a divine, intelligent, and harmonious entity, where every part is connected and imbued with the presence and power of the universal mind. Embracing this understanding can transform our perception of existence, highlighting the sacredness, unity, and dynamic balance that define our universe. As we reach the conclusion of Book 1, it's evident that Russell's insights offer a revolutionary perspective on the interconnectedness and eternal nature of existence. By positioning God and the universe as one, Russell challenges us to reconsider the traditional separations between creator and creation. Book One of the Universal One serves as an introduction to the intriguing and often challenging ideas that will unfold in subsequent explorations. These discussions promise to expand not only our understanding of Russell's philosophy, but also our perception of reality itself. Stay tuned, as the journey into the depths of knowledge and existence is just beginning.